Hey guys, and welcome to another champion spotlight. And today's champion that we're going to be spotlighting is on the public beta environment. It's going to be Callista. Um, she is a very mobile uh, champion compared to other ADCs and everything that you would imagine, especially because her passive. Um, we're going to try to get a mi uh, uh, ADC in the mid lane. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 just do this the easiest way. Uh, we're gonna stick Caitlyn because range-wise, she has uh, some of the best range in the game. Um, okay, and let's see. Now, typical page where I go for ADC is 12 armor pen, 12 magic resist, for uh, damage, uh, four and a half damage, nine armor, one and a half life steal. That's just for sustain in early game. It works really well for me. You don't have to do it. Um, if we go into the masteries, as you can see, I have the whole entire second column filled out. I have crit, I have cooldown, and I have butcher. That's all I have. Then I have two in block, two in enchanted armor, two in veteran scars, uh, unyielding, and juggernaut. That's all you really need for the tank wise. Um, and we're going to be going Callista, and we're going to be using the bl uh, Blood Moon Callista, which. If you guys know Blood Moon Akali, I think Blood Moon Akali is the skin. Um, and you got Blood Moon Shen. Um, I, not sure if there's Blood Moon Akali. I'm not 100 percent sure on that one actually. Um, I would actually have to check, but be right back. All right, here we are, guys, and we're on obviously New Rift, um, especially because it's PVE. We're gonna be going with our essential ADC items, and with Kliss, I like to start with my E. It makes Harmon a lot easier. Um, especially with the CS. So, let's get into mid lane. And let's get this match underway. Um, typically, uh, let's see. Who's up top? Typically, um, you would want to go with your support to use this little item here, Black Spear. Um, what that does is it binds with ally for the remainder of the game becoming old sworn allies old sworn empowers you both while near one another now if we go over here this is Callista's martial pose uh cannot cancel her attacks if the target leaves vision her attack will miss if Callista enters a movement command while winding up her basic attack or pierce she will uh, drive out in that direction when she launches her attack launching a short distance um, it's increased by 25% when moving away backwards from an enemy. Um, now, why I start with her E? Threatened. While of cooldown, Callista spears pierce the target and linger there for 4 seconds. Now, this stacks. Um, Callista rips the spears from nearby targets, dealing 20 plus 42 physical damage, and slowing their movement speed by 25% for 2 seconds. Each extra spear increases the damage by 25%, but not the slow. It's a really good ability. Because you stack four spears, it's a hundred percent damage. Well, essentially. Um, so let's go over here and watch. See, that's her passive. Basically, when I'm doing this, uh, I messed up on that CS, but but watch. That's just with Kalissa's basics right now. And it's great for engaging enemies, so I say as long as you can afford it, the only thing is you have to re-engage with your autos. That's the only annoying part about it so with her you have to be really compensating for that lack of uh, attack that's why it's good to have her E to start because that'll help you with your CS but at the same time it's gonna cost you a lot of mana but at the same time for early game It's good for stuff like that because I can go in for an early engage like this 
and deal all that damage. And see, because I started my attack speed, not attack speed, um, attack animation, I almost actually went under turret. And we're going to level up Rend again. Um, at this point, you would have a support, so you would be a little bit more able to do things. But at this moment, I don't have a support. I don't have an Oathsworn. And because of minions. Ah. But yes. Now, to show for other abilities besides Rend, we have over here at a fast but narrow projectile that deals 10 plus 7 of physical damage. Triggers, triggers martial pose P, Sentinel W, and Rend E. So basically, if you look over here, a uh, passive, and cause my passive to go off, so. See? That's my passive. Now, send a soul sentinel to patrol on senior champions that are seen to reveal for 4 seconds. Sentinels last 7 laps. Callista gaining a charge of sentinel every 90 seconds. When Callista and her Oathsworn both basic attack the same target within 1.5 seconds, she deals 12% of their max health as magic damage. It's really good, it's really helpful. So, in my opinion, it's a good ability to have. Okay, and there we go. And see, that's the great thing about Rend. Because I had all of those stacks of spears in her, I was able to just one-shot her. It's, like I said, it's an amazing ability to start with. Especially early game, you're going to do really well because of it. Like, I'm not even level 6. She was level 6, but she was way too low to do anything with it. So that's where I got the upper hand on it. Now, I'm going to show you her W, uh, the active on it. Because, in my opinion, it's a really great ability. And it has a really huge range. And the fact that it lasts 7 laps, it's very helpful. Okay, we're just going to clear out some of this farm. Get out of my face. Uh, we're going to go... Now, typically with ADC champions, I start off by building either into my Blade of the Rune King or my Infinity Edge. With Callista, I genuinely start with my Rune Ends Hurricane. Because that's going to proc her E amazingly. Like, you would expect it not to. But it does amazing for her. And typically with ADCs, you want to buy a ward when you go back on your first B or a vision ward or something to give you some more vision on your lane. Uh, me, I'm just going to actually do this real quick. I'm going to make Cogmo. And see? Now Cogmo and I are Old Sword. As you can see, he, he died. And now he's back. But when we're near each other, we get our my passive for my W. Now for a duo ADC lane, that's kind of broken. So and now we're just gonna pop back in lane. I hate how like quick it is, but at the same time, I love it. Now, as you can see, I'm doing quite a bit of damage already. I have no damage items. Now let's see. Now look at all that health that just got taken off of her. She literally cannot do anything at that point. Because that's how much health I got off of her. Now what we can do, as ADC, uh, oh yeah that's right, what I was going to show you was her at W. Now. We're going to stand right here. Now, you see how that's the shortest range. I can send this all the way up there. Or, say I want to have Vision of Baron. There we go. Vision of Baron completed. Now, 
Now, we're going to let these guys do their thing. Now, see? Still giving vision. You can kill it. From what I'm seeing. And I like the fact that in Blood Moon version, they actually have different, like, actual art for it. Uh, in the regular version, it's just like a spectral ghost from, uh... What should we call it? The Shadow Isles. So it's pretty cool that they gave it that little bit of a lift. Now, as you can see, I have 13 of these spears in blue buff. Well, more now. And, boop, it's just instantly dead. It's, like I said, it's a really helpful ability. Dead. And dead. That is the beauty of that E. Because, say she wanted to ult me. If I have enough stacks of my E on her, there's no way I'm going to die from it. Now, we already have this guy going up and forth over here, up and down over here. Now, we're going to have one for Dragon. Now, it goes along a set course for however long you depict it. So, she's going to be really good for uh, lane protection and other like situational things like that. That's where I like her. Um, we finished our rune and hurricane. That's good. Um, give me two seconds, guys. Okay. Sorry about that. I am back. And, like I said, we finished our rune and hurricane, which is going to be beautiful. Um, the second item we're going to get, it can alternate between, um, depending on your mana usage, because I'm very mana hungry when I play Callista, um, I'm going to be going Essence Reaver, especially with rune hurricane. This They stack really well together. And plus, the only t ability I really use with Callista is her E. Her Q is just for like an extra poke if I need to actually get something done. But see, now watch this. Because of those minions, I actually was able to get my E off twice because it goes on cooldown whenever you actually you uh, kill a minion with it. I um. Callista's spear spears through target lane in there for 4 seconds. Callista rips apart the movement. Uh, 2 seconds. Each extra spear. It doesn't say... Oh yeah, right there. If uh, if it kills the target, Ren's cooldown is reset. So, use it very efficiently. Kind of like that. And you can get a bunch of CS out of it. Um, you can actually get a lot of kills out of it. I think the most kills... And yes, I am doing a bot game due to the fact it's the PBEs. Uh public environment. It's extremely hard to find a match anywhere on this server. So good luck if you decide to actually play on the PvE. I like how it's raining in the jungle. I, did anyone else notice that? Okay, and... There we go. And see, because I have blue buff, my mana is just plunging so quickly. I love it. Okay, our top ward has disappeared. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to keep on keeping on. There we go. And due to the fact, like I said, my health, yes, it got depleted. But that is, for an ADC, that's a worthy trade. Because that's what you want to go for. You want to go for those trades that'll potentially uh, cost you something. But if you can manage to come out of it on top, that's just better for you. And with Kalissa's attack speed, especially with the way I'm building it right now, I start off with a Rune and Hurricane. So, it's quite easy to just do really well. Um... Okay, that little guy's still doing his warden job. Okay, so she almost died from that. 
She's not going to die from it, though, so that's the sad part. Um, we're going to get this tower. That's a good thing. That'll help us with our gold. Now, let's go over here. And do 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 Let's see. Are any of these guys are both really low. Um, I'm five levels above them, so it should be a one-way fight. But you can never be too sure. And as you can see, it has a decently long range. Like, it actually has an insanely long range. And there we go, there's the double. Give me my gold. Okay. And here we go. Now we have enough gold to actually go get most of the Essence Reaver. Um, we're going to hold off on that just for a bit because uh, I want to go protect my lane. I'm, I'm greedy like that. So, and here we go. That potentially saved my turret. Potentially. Notice how my turret has like no health. Because Kaylin, that's the thing about bots, they'll focus primarily on objectives over you. Because that's how the game is supposed to be played. Objectives, not actual kills. And just a second, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I only just killed wraiths. Well, raptors, whatever they are now. Nothing major. So we're going to go over here. And Essence Reaver. 3200. We have all that gold needed. And this will give us life stain. Uh, life stain? Life steal. So that's where that benefits us a lot. Now... Kind of got to get back to lane fairly quickly before they push that because this has literally one hit on it and it dies. Okay, sorry about that. And here we are. We're just getting these kills now. There we go. We got that kill. And we're going to move over here. All right, we didn't get the reset on our E passive so here we go we're gonna go get blue buff increase that mana regen uh, and sustain because as you can see with Essence Reaver look how much mana I've lost that pretty much is non-existent right now and dead so that's the great thing about the mana regen, like I stated. Um, and Essence Reaver gives us the cooldown, which works really, really well. Um, I'm going to go kill Trundle, due to the fact I don't want my turret to be taken. There we go. We got those kills. We have 1500. Um, at this point, you can start building your Blade of the Rune King. Um, get your Bilge Order Cutlass. Get a. No, you'd only be able to get a Bilge Order Cutlass because 1400 for the Bilge Order. And then you need to get another 450. Well, 350 at this point. Well, no, 200 at this point due to the fact it's 454 um, 454 friggin the dagger couldn't think of the word for a second and now we have 1800 um, if you're doing this well in uh, actual matches you're pretty much golden I'm predicting this is how Callista is gonna play if people play her well so only time will tell Okay, and I 
just going to oil in this turret. Actually, we'll get some CS. CS while we're here. That way, when actual minions come, we will be fine. And I could have used my heal there. I probably would have killed her, but at the same time, I would have died because I would have been taking turret damage, a lot of it. Um, not ideal at all. Now, got that turret. We're going to rotate. Notice how Torn was like, uh, do I want to go in on this? Is it safe? No, not at all. Now, let's see. Uh, at this point, you should be able to just boop, one shot. Which, once you can do that, that's when you're pretty much set. Now, the only reason why I died there is because I was suppressed. I got ulted by Trundle, and I got ulted by Caitlyn. Pretty much everyone used their ult on me. Um, that's the only reason why I died in that scenario. Typically, uh, you wouldn't be doing that type of fight, but play the Rune King, finish it off. You have all your attack speed right there. Now, this is where, yes, you're going for a tiny bit more attack speed, um, but this is more so of an essential item for all ADCs except for Lucian, who goes for Ionia Boots. Um, he's like the one exception to this rule. Malphite's doing a little bit better. We're going to go out and help Kog'Maw. Now, it wasn't a wasted summoner when I died to those three, because I got three ults out of it. I used heal, and I killed Trundle. So, I used, for one summoner spell, I got a kill, and three ults used on me. So, that's where it benefited me. Now, at this point... Um, I kind of want to kill Caitlyn, due to the fact she has my buffs, so, I really don't care about the turret dead because I got my buffs back, that's all that matters to me, so. Gonna let those minions take their course. I'm gonna go clear out these minions that are gonna be popping up over here. As you can see, I can already finish my boots if I really wanted to. But I'm not going to yet. I'm going to kill Darius. Hopefully. There we go. Up, oh, that is a close one to death. Yeah, we got this. We got this turret. If everyone else decided to keep attacking. But no, no one else decided to keep on attacking. So that's where we lost the advantage on that turret. And let's just go on a kill and spray. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, yep, I'm dead. Uh, no getting out of that one. Got a little greedy. Now, we have all of our attack speed items. Um, we're going to start building into our Infinity Edge. And yes, I did go for Home Guard right away, just so I can get back into lane a little bit quicker and push this lane out. Um, so, we have 20 seconds. What do you guys want to talk about? How's your day? Doing fine? That's good to hear. Um, as you can tell, Warwick's used all of his suppresses on me so far, from what I've seen. Um, I haven't seen really ult anyone else in the team fights. It's me. Why? I'm 21 and 2. Who do you want to kill first? The Fed one. K. 
Okay, and... Okay, Trundle went to top lane, so... I'm not gonna get too much out of that. Okay, those two are dead. Thank you for my buffs back. Okay, and... Dead. I believe we can finish our infinity. Yeah, we can. But we're gonna go rotate. Uh, Zillion's over here, actually. He's a good free kill. Especially since he's going to be attempting to back. But he's going to use his ult. And dead. Now we've got inhib. Uh, we have the upper hand completely. But you can always squander it. I mean, I've played plenty of games where we've had inhib, but we've lost. And why? Because we've overextended, uh, we stayed too long, where they were able to defend that lane, and we were on super high um, respawn time, so it wasn't too fair. Like, in the end, especially because at those t like times in the game, you don't want to be doing stuff like that. Now, he has a fusion in him, and we're just gonna... There we go. Now, see, Dragon... Dragon Slayer. The first one, Dragon Slayer, eight percent attack damage and AP. So, eight percent times zero, you, you, there's nothing. But it's gonna help with my AD. It's gonna help uh, with those fights. Uh, let's go get a renewed red buff. Um, we're gonna go back behind here, and we're going to. And that's a triple kill, and my health is already fully in. Um, we're gonna get a little bit more gold because, as it, like you saw, Dragon doesn't give gold anymore. He gives a buff. So we're gonna see if we can push this lane out. Uh, they have decent spawn times, uh, respawn times. So we possibly could get this turret if uh, we clear out quick enough. But Zillion gonna be a bit of a nuisance so let's kill him focus turret on me for a bit which got us that turret and we're gonna go rotate up here and he's going to attempt to kill me There we go, we got that triple. Now, I'm going to have enough gold to buy two items. Um, should. Yeah, definitely. So there's only 22 and that's 23. And we're full build now. That's genuinely the whole entire build. You want to get your Infinity Edge, your Rune and Hurricane. Um, notice how I didn't go Static Shave. I went Rune and Hurricane so I could stack with her E. Um, which, it works really well together, the two. Um, I honestly have no complaints about it. It's one of the best combos that I've seen so far on any ADC uh, for Rune's Hurricane. I mean, I've seen Caitlyn's go it, I've seen Twitch go it, but honestly, I mean Tristana even, but this is the best use of it, especially with uh, Essence Reaver, because I can just CS, CS, and I can proc off just about anything with my E. Dead. 
and my mana pretty much hasn't gone down significantly. Um, you could replace, uh, if you're not doing too well, Rune and Hurricane or Blade the Rune King uh, with a defensive item, but in a match where you're going 33 and 2, hypothetically, you don't need it. It's not something that's completely useful for you. Um, you're going to want to go with those only if you're doing pretty bad. <laughs> Which, you'd be surprised it happens. Uh, it's not a bad thing. Like, I mean, it is a bad thing for your team, but... And just watch this turret get melted. That's an attack speed on top of damage. It's just... He just killed himself right there. I'm allowing Malphite to go back. Uh, I didn't get the penta, but whatever. And there's my health. Just right back to where it was. And time to melt turrets. GG. Because my health already back up, so. And GG. So we'll go back to the damage board, and I will catch up with you guys in a second. See you guys in a bit. Alright, he grid. Uh, not grid, but as you can see over here, damage 62, 204. We're going to go into the graph. Graph is going to be where we're going to. Um, we're going to go to damage done. With Cliss, I dealt 230 minutes. That's amazing. You're not going to get that in. But when you do, it's the best feeling ever. Um, and then, that's pretty much all for my Eprox. Um. As you can see over here, I took 28 damage. I healed for 13k. Uh, physical damage take 4, magic damage 41. Now if we go over here to damage done, physical damage 288. And if we go over here, this is magic damage 808. And then largest critical strike also. It's a little bit uh, of broken of a build. It's, you're not going so much for the with this type of ADC. Um, you're going more so for the burst damage, which the burst damage is you can do a lot of damage within a person. Um, that's why you're going for a bursty type attacker with this type of ADC. Um, it's I personally like to go with my uh, Rune and Hurricane uh, for her build, due to the fact, like I said, it procs with her enemies near the target. Um, each deal damage these bolts apply on hit effects. So, um, Blade the Rune King, passive damage both as physical. As physical damage heals us. If they're trying to run away, you blow the item, but um, last was for only 40. So it's very helpful. The Infinity Edge, 80 AD, 25 area. Berserker's Greaves, ability. Due to the fact you have then Ruin Hurricane, I've already got the Ruin Hurricane, Essence Reaver, um, mana. And it is. This effect. So that's where I say go.